Hey, what's going on guys? Kalamazi here, and earlier today, the second half of patch 10.26 hit PTR, which means Season 4 is now available on PTR. Uh, M Plus is open this weekend, I guess this week until Monday, the whole week, whatever you ever take. I ran a few keys on stream today. Um, gear purchasable from vendors, uh, whether it's from Vault, Amir Dacil, Abaris, as well as older dungeons that come back. Uh, it is all S1 dungeons, is on the vendors for testing. And uh, today, I want to talk about some Sims for Demo, Destro Aft, some gear combinations, uh, and look at a few builds that might some play a little, little bit of combat and stuff here and there look at some cool i guess semi meme builds like pit lore builds uh big chaos bolt builds let's go from there um, s4 is meant to be about fun even though you know i was hoping we get a mix of maybe some older the older dungeons like i don't know um sky reach or awkward doing something like that back as well doesn't appear to be the case but still um a bit to get into so all that being said let's get into it all right, so first off, if you're looking at buying any gear, my bags are a mess. This is an old character from like five months ago that I was playing in prep for Amir Uh If you're looking at buying any gear on PTR, if you're Horde, the vendors are right here in Orgamar. If you're Alliance, they're somewhere in Stormwind, I believe, near the auction house. Uh, the class set tester, so they updated this mid testing today. The sets will indeed change per spec now. Uh, this is the full set you want for S4. So Destro is based around season one. Consuming shards gives you a chance to get chaos uh, crit buff and the seven, the four piece gives you a larger crit track damage increase. Both of these were buffed, I believe from 10 to 15% for the two piece. And the four piece went from 208 to 2012 um, crit track damage wise. So there's that. Affliction is the one we have currently, which is based around soul rot, giving you that, you know, uh, increase to Rapture or Seed whenever you cast Soul Rot, which can be reduced further by playing things like uh, Soul Leader's Gluttony and all that. You can see it right here. Uh, increase to Rapture and Seed alike and giving you a damage increase to Soul Rot, all that kind of stuff in a longer duration. Uh, Demonology is playing the Doom Brand bonus for those that don't know. Uh, it did indeed win over Season 2 being Grimoire Felguard Sync and the damage increase that it brought to your pets and stuff. I liked the Season 2 bonus. I, I like the S2 bonus more that gave you a, a GFG reduction and a damage increase to your pets, but I voted for S3, the one, the one that won, Demonic Core, Doom Brand Base. I think this one has the most universal applicability. It's good in Mythic Plus, it's fine, good in rating, and all that. S2 was good in rating, the Grimoire one, but it was not very good in Plus. It was pretty mediocre. This is good in Plus, good in rating, and honestly just good pretty much all around. Uh, now, when it comes to Destro, I do think that, and I will say this publicly, I think a lot of people have as well, not just me, other content creators have also, um, that if they were to vote again, uh, don't worry about this, if they were to vote again, uh, Destro would likely, it'd be much closer, it might even be something, it, it might even win. Um, what I'm saying, the current bonus for S3 with Dimensional Rifts might beat out the one that is here currently, the one that won early on, being S1. The reason for that is because the build that's played currently on retail, it might even be this, I don't know, it's not. It, it's a build like uh, this when it comes to M+. You're playing basically 2 Minute Infernal, all this stuff here, no embers. And you're not playing this, you're playing uh, points in CDF, RDF, and you're playing uh, you're playing no conflagration, and you're playing Rain of Fire, this, and Cataclysm. This build applies Cataclysm to all the mobs hit by Cata, CDF, RDF extends them, and whenever you have emulates rolling with with s 3s bonus in retail right now, emulate ticks give you a chance to get a refund of Dimensional Rift. This synergy and this build has given Destro an incredible amount of funnel damage in mass AOE and plus. I put a video out on it a few days ago. You can watch it if you want. Um, a lot of funnel damage from rifts getting reset often in plus due to having multiple emulates rolling via Kata, permanent emulates via CDF RDF being cast. Uh, Infernal being three minutes, but having that huge AOE profile still with Rain of Fire, multiple pulls or multiple packs being pulled, more mobs, more funnel damage, more Rift, uh, I guess, cast from Immolate refunds, which means more shards, more Rain of Fires, one big cycle of synergy. Unfortunately, that set, that synergy wasn't known really at all when we voted on tier sets, and uh, the one that won was Season 1. Now, I'll openly admit, I think S3 is probably the best version, or the best, uh, set we could have had being the one you know with rifts and things but it is what it is if we vote again or they change things uh, i doubt they will but if they look at doing that or whatever it'd be great to have s3 back or have them both back why not uh, but currently the way s1 is with you know destro it's still not bad it's passive it's you know crit strike damage increase crit strike chance all that it likely shifts you back to playing build based around inferno and probably just like ep scalding flames uh you won't play rift anymore You'll probably play either like two minute infernal or maybe probably it's two minute infernal with this honestly 
and probably play more into that huge reign of fire inferno strength that Destro had before in those big dungeons like Algathar, like Brackenhide, uh, so on and so forth, right? So we'll see where that goes. But uh, if you're looking at buying gear, uh, class set tester right here. The guy all the trinkets is right here. There's ones from Vault, Avarice, and Mirdasil. Uh, some dungeon based ones, some older ones. Uh, I guess other items are over here. This vendor, he's a little buggy still. He has some 250 items as well as 528 ones. Uh, Clash Trinket is here uh, at 535. Iridius Fragment is uh, here, unfortunately, at 250, but it's over here at uh, 525. And it gives a whopping 11,000 intellect, which is pretty insane. Uh, it leaves some pretty big Chaos Bolt casts, some pretty big, well, uh, some pretty big buffs when you stack it with Clash Trinket and things like Pit Lord, maybe Tyrant and stuff like that. I tested it earlier. We'll look at it here in a few minutes. Um, it's not, it's not bad. Uh, it's where's my portal to Valdraken? There we go. Uh, where's Valdraken portal? There we go. There we go. It's it, it's not. It's likely not bringing back Pit Lord and Tyrant and all that. But the synergy uh, that was there in S two, in Avarice, uh, you're also missing that bonus, right? The one that gave you a shorter Grim War, which gave you a you know a sync with Tyrant. And that Grimoire cast also gave you that, you know, damage buff to all your pets when you had Grimoire out. So you had Tyrant out and Grimoire out, both buffing all your pets. You're missing that. You're missing the older version of PI. They broke the synergies, the synergies between, you know, uh, Nether Portal and Pit Lord and Tyrant and Imps and all those pets, right? And they also nerfed Pit Lord. So a lot of that, all that being taken into account, likely won't be, you know, anywhere, anywhere near as strong. But we'll look at it here in a few minutes. Now... Here, if you're looking at uh, items to buy with Dinars, back here in the Bronze Enclave, one of these buildings somewhere, uh, you can buy, you can, I guess, view the items that are for sale with Dinars. Now, they're called Bullions, I believe, this patch, and they're not, we're not sure as to how many uh, in here, actually, uh, we're going to be able to get. So, there's people over here that sell tier sets for tokens to drop in the raid. There's LFR, uh, Normal Heroic Mythic, all that kind of stuff, these two. Over here, you can buy Transmog. They brought back the Jelly Cat from Shadowlands, actually. If you didn't get it, it costs three antique uh, bronze bullions. And there's Transmog from the raid. A bunch of Transmog for one bullion each. Uh, bullions being the new Dinars. And uh, if you want to buy Transmog, hey, there you go. Uh, the actual gear vendors are here. So here's Vault Vendor, Skills, Associate, Vault, Aberus, and Mirdasil, right? Um, all the items are here. They each cost two bullions. Now... I was told on stream earlier, somebody data miner found somewhere in the game, I don't know, they're smarter than me, that you can hold 12 bullions at a time. I don't know if that means that you're limited to 12, that you can spend 12 and get 12 more, or if 12 is the max. I'm not sure. But either way, if that is true, it might not be, but if it is true, that means that you can likely buy more items this season than you could in Shadowlands, because, I mean, 12, you know, uh, divided by, it's six items, right? Six items. Um, if you can hold more than 12, you can buy as many as you want. I would actually not mind a world where dinars or bullions were infinitely acquirable. And you ended up just getting, you know, 20 or so over the season. Who cares, right? To end the season, have fun. Uh, icons here. Darren of Chosen's here. Aranog Ring is here as well. All the items here. Rare items being a bit higher uh, on the Awakened Upgrade Path. Uh, one out of 12, for example, here. Incarnate Icon being one out of 12. Other items being uh, a bit less. Uh, sorry, here's a rare item. Uh, Filial Duty being 1 out of 14. Non-rare items. I guess some of them are, some of them aren't, but either way. Um, some rare items being uh, 14 up level upgrade levels because of the main later on the dungeon or whatever. Uh, a lot of, uh, unfortunately, a lot of uh, crest and flight zones likely required. But if you want items back here, check them out. Belarus is here. I uh, had it crit for 3 million earlier. Pretty big. Next, whatever you want, all that. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So... I want to take a look briefly at some Warlock Sims and then a couple of spicy builds and uh, go from there. So when it comes to these Sims, I'm going to say right now, I believe Malakath is, Malakath is maintaining them all and working on them in the Lock Discord. They're all works in progress, likely some optimizations with gear and talents and everything to be found. Um, secondary stats were changed today on tier sets as well. From what I understand, uh, we voted for tier sets like, you know, S1, S2, S3 for each spec. We also voted on an appearance, and apparently the appearance that won is the set they're going with with corresponding secondary stats. Like, for example, if you have uh, S3's Helm uh, for Demonology, which won, let's say it's Crit Haste, um, currently in S3, right? S3 set might have won for S4, but if that Helm wasn't Crit Haste and whatever appearance won the vote for the appearance, it's that secondary stat combination instead. 
likely isn't a big of a deal but either way sims might be a little off here and there but this does indeed show a decent bit of what things look like heading into s4 currently once again placeholder um, or I guess general statement, things can change a bunch, likely will, but thank you, Malakath, and the Squad for these. I'll run some more sims of my own later on when things get more optimized and tuned and stuff. Um, he mentioned the trinkets can change a good bit, as well as my items here and there, but yeah. So, demonology. Uh, sitting at 381.899, we'll call it 382. This is playing the two-minute build. Uh, you've got Hatred, Sack, Souls, just general two-minute build and single target. As far as gear is concerned, you're rocking your tier set. Uh, these are legs from Vault, uh, Kazara, they're in a chosen ring. Obviously, it's a very good ring for Demo, uh, Demo and Destro. Uh, siphoning Signet's also very good. I will say that this ring here is incredibly undervalued. Um, this one, Filial Duty from Broodkeeper. This ring at Max Awakened, I have it on right now, you can see it on the far right here, absorbs 262,000 damage for six seconds when you do fire damage, has a chance to proc. This ring is incredible. It's very good for prog or heavy damage based settings. I played this, I got it in Vault on Broodkeeper, on Mythic. I played it all the way through Avarice prog. I killed Mythic Sarkar with this ring on. It was like, I think 12% of my healing on that fight this ring is very good from a prog base setting honestly not bad in general but um once again overall raw sims you know keep that in mind uh trinket wise Beloros and whispering incarnate icon now i'm i'm curious to see if Beloros will end up actually changing to a different trinket here um instead of like you know i want Beloros for demo demo's cool on timings are a little awkward um i want to mess more other other trinket sims you know, further, further down the line and stuff. Uh, long gone are the days of Clash Trinket and the Radius Fragments. I want to run Sims with Portal and Ray of Tyranny uh, talents as well, playing Clash Trinket and a Radius Fragment or Clash Trinket and Aetherian's, uh, Netheris, uh Spoils and Aetherius Trinket as well. But I haven't gotten that far yet. But from the general Sims playing two in a build, it looks like Incarnate Icon and Beloros are the, currently most of the front runners, uh, followed by Beloros and Tome of Unstable Power, which is reworked. Uh, and then a few other things here and there, the further you go down. So Demo, 382 basically, uh, not the best of the worst, but keep in mind, Demo's damage profile, uh, very strong in stat cleave. Never been the flashiest in single target, actually the lowest spec now, I believe, in Sims, uh, in single target for Warlocks, Sim-wise, but in those settings like Gnar Root, like Tindral, those Mythic Plus settings, the huge stat cleave, Demo excels there. So single target Sims are the end all be all. Moving on to Affliction, uh, Demo 382 basically, Affliction, 394. 772 playing the two minute build here uh trinkets being whispering incarnate icon and nine muse unraveling spindle unsurprising nine muse very good in single target even like the damage it brings in the master buff it's pretty solid baseline intellect and uh baseline intellect now clash trinket not being played here either i don't know if you send with it here or not um i need to test more of this myself because the reason we we played clash trinket with af in s2 and Abaris and we had more talents to play with, and you weren't playing Soldier's Gluttony. You played uh, Soul Rot, and you're playing this combination likely in S4 as well, because this tier bonus won, but you played two points in Malevolent Visionary, which empowered, or which made Clash Trinket the better option, not the better build. So to get Malevolent Visionary and Soul Rot with Gluttony, you're going to have to pull, just pull Crescendo and Haunt, which you're not going to do. Um, so I want to mess with it more. Incarnate Icon and Spindle, simming the highest here. Uh, other combinations here being uh, Boloros being very close. You've got Tome of Unstable Power being close here as well. Um, Iridius Fragment not being terrible either. Uh, other combinations here and there, because you know, Trinket here. Here's Spoils, for example. Um, yeah, you got to go relatively far down to find a Clash Trinket. But, you know, once again, different builds may change things a little bit. Uh, we'll see where it goes from there. But uh, Incarnate Icon... Also looking pretty strong, and Filio Duty and Aaron of Chosen being your rings of choice here. Uh, keep in mind, you also don't have uh, the staff from Dawn of the Infinite this season because it's a dungeon, not in the rotation. And uh, Voice of Silent Star is also an option this season because of uh, well, Avarice. And also, Demo, or sorry, Aph is playing Shadow Flame, uh, Blue Silk, and Lining here. Uh, Demo is playing Double Blue Silk, which is surprising a little bit. And uh, yeah, so Aph being about 12k, 13k higher than Demo. And single target. Uh, Destruction, on the other hand. 410, 307. Now, once again, these sims are very um, experimental. Things will change all that. I haven't run it myself yet. But number one, this build's crazy. Uh, number two, uh, trinket wise, still incarnate icon, still nine muse and raveling spindle, playing the two minute build, and we're back to chaos incarnate, unsurprisingly, 
over dimensional rift uh, other combinations here you've got incarnate icon power uh Beloros here you know all that um this builds a little while there's playing a point in soul fire internal combustion and it's playing two points in improved immolate i did run a sim of my own copying the gear and everything playing the normal two minute build uh going through conflagration of chaos or getting it through shadow burn and all that not playing basically uh no point in soul fire no points here and playing uh entropy over combustion so like basically you know one two uh combustion or sorry entropy and it was like 6k behind like 403 404 so chances are high i just play that either way um i then simmed the conflagration of chaos build no soul fire no improved immolate with internal combustion and that build basically just playing conflagration chaos uh, combustion was behind this build by 200 dps basically the same thing so um there's a world where you could you know make that work but at the same time you know improved immolate increasing duration and having internal combustion around i mean it gives you a bit more, a bit more leeway with like emulate refreshes and all that if i can avoid playing combustion i likely will and chances are decent i probably can't avoid it uh, i'm not playing a point in soul fire like that though especially a naked soul fire that feels gross but either way it looks like destro in single target followed by af and then demo but keep in mind profiles vary a lot destro cannot do the same stat cleave as demo can at all af is customizable good single target or good aoe or if you're playing in the raid you can play dt build with seed so soul flame and go from there quickly let's look at two builds uh in combat for a bit of fun and uh yeah we'll go from there all right so the first build here i want to show you it is actually the nether portal uh pit lord ring of tyranny tyrant build all that kind of stuff that we played in s2 in avarice now we don't actually have avarice tier bonus around in season four we are playing the doom brand one so the power of the grimoire felgar tyrant sink and the power that grimoire brought to your other pets not there uh, but I wanted to see how good and how cool it looked and all that, or how how good it just was, how strong it was. Because we're playing Clash Trinket. I have cheated here and got 10 stacks on it ahead of time, so I want to show the max power of it. It'll grant 12k intellect at 10 stacks for, uh, well, 20 seconds. At the same time, Iridius Fragment grants 11,000 on top of that for 20 seconds as well. So you've got this 20 second window of just 25k intellect, whatever it is, 23k, uh, with pit lore, with tyrant, with a potion, with bloodlust, all that flowing. I want to see just how strong it was, right? So, uh, let's just take a look at it. Why not? I think I have some drums actually to try and pop them. I do. Uh, let me siphon first here. Got two imps out. Ooh, siphon and uh, yeah, drums. Let's do it. All right. So, cast two shadow bolts heading in. Bolt, bolt. We're gonna portal, soul burn, grim war, uh, cast vial fiend, bolt, cast wogs hand bolt and i'm gonna hand bolt again gonna cast my iridius fragment my trinket all that stuff tyrant hand hand demonic strength and that's the opener uh, there's the pit lord he's out Let's see what he's gonna do here uh where he's climbing he's launching that big bell seeker he's climbing a bit uh, 1 1.2 1 1.3 1 1.5 1.6 all right 1.7 4 million not bad 530k burst roughly give or take uh tyrant did where is he at about 1.2 million as well it's so not terrible, honestly. You know, about uh, give or take three and a half, four million damage between them both. Biggest uh, Tyrant crit being 236. Biggest Spellseeker tick being 186. Uh, it's cool. The Pit Lord's awesome visually. It was changed in 10 2 before Avarice came out. Or sorry, Amir still. But unfortunately, it's still not the best. Um, it's a large portion of our damage in our opener here. But keep in mind, we had 10 stacks of Clash Trinket and we had an Iridius Fragment here. You won't have 10 stacks of Clash Trinket normally when you're opening up. You might have maybe two if you're lucky, right? Um, you'll have Iridius Fragment every portal, but you won't have, you know, Clash Trinket stacks in your opener, right? You'll have it, you know, three minutes into the fight. Um, there are times where you'll, you like, will indeed accrue a lot of, a lot of like, Clash Trinket stacks between Tyrants. Like here, you get lucky and you roll an eight stack or a 10 stack, whatever, but not always the case. Um, I've tested both this and the build coming up uh, in the next section of the video here. The build coming up is uh, unsurprisingly stronger, uh, but um, it's cool to see, I guess, the Seda Pit Lord. Um, but if you ask me how good it is, uh, not very. Uh, two minute build, playing just, you know, two minute Tyrant, Grim War, like no Pit Lord and kind of stuff, whatever, will be better. Um, even having Clash Shrink it around and all that to cover your Tyrants and stuff. Um, yeah. So you can see Pit Lord's already sitting at 5.5% tier. Tyrant 7, a bit climbing. This is with Ram Tyranny. Uh, you can also see that Doom Brand and Doom Bolt Volley are here. But chances are high. You know, chances are guaranteed. I've seen it already happen. Uh, Fellseeker for my Pit Lord is going to fall below Doom Brand here in a moment. So 
uh, and we're waiting a whole other minute on that as well. So as cool as Pit Lord is and all that, the black like whitelist blacklist synergies between uh, like another portal and pets and imps and tyrant and Pit Lord that they all put in and tend to you, just not very good still. So that was the main build that made Clash Rank it so good. Uh, it might still be played in some builds. We'll look at another one here in a minute, but. Um, the big build that played it before, for a lot of reasons, is not going to be the big build, uh, most likely in S4. All right, the second build I want to show you here, uh, this is Destro. Now, we haven't simmed, I haven't simmed with Clash Trinket a whole lot. Other sims have been run with Clash Trinket. Uh, I doubt it's going to end up being worthwhile for Destro. It was basically good for Demo in S2 because of like how strong Pit Lord, Iridius, Fragment, Tyrant, all of them were together, right? Potions, Bloodlust, PI, all that, right? It was played a little bit for Destro in certain spots, and Ath played it a bit, but... Either way, uh, Clash Trinket's intellect per stack was cut in half right before uh, 10-2 went live, but they doubled the duration. So it'll basically last, for the most part, almost all your Chaos Bolt cast. And combining this, I have it at 10 stacks here. It's a bit cheating, obviously, but I wanted to, you know, show the full power over here. With an Iridius Fragment giving 11,000 intellect, uh, you can hit some pretty big Chaos Bolts. So uh, we're going to open up here and see what we can do. Just I'm not going to go for a long time, but it's pretty cool. If you're a fan of Chaos Bolt uh, hitting hard, uh, well, it uh, hits hard again. I'm going to Infernal Potion. Potion. Conflict Rate. Pop my Radius Fragment. Launch a Bolt. Show me the million plus. The million plus Bolt. The million plus. The million one. Can I get a million two Bolt? Anything, please? Million two? Million, million, million one? Anything? I've seen 1.25 million if you get synergy procs and things like that. They, they're they massive. Like, the bolts crushed, man. They're huge. My emulate fell. But uh, they're massive, man. That sure brings some pretty big bursts when you can stack Clash Trinket with 12,000 intellect and stack an Iridius fragment on top of it and a potion and everything else. It's pretty wild. Uh, and to clarify, I'm, I'm 5 town eye level, but I'm, I'm playing a, a low level belt, bracers, a neck, I believe something else here too because boots. It's hard to find them in the vendors right now. So... Uh, we'll see where it goes long term. Um, I'm curious to see if it's going to end up actually being as strong as it looks in Sims. Uh, and as far as like internal combustion play goes, I can show you briefly like the build that plays uh, basically this. You know, uh, I'm not going to cast Soulfire, but it's whatever. I'll just put it there to fill the build in. Um, internal combustion scales it. It does more damage based on you having higher haste because internal combustion is calculated by emulate ticks. Emulate ticks more with haste. So I'm sitting at, uh, what am I sitting at? 33% now, right? So just for an example here, uh, normal, I guess normal, internal combustion gameplay would look something like this roughly. Right? You start open up, put your infernal down, whatever, uh, immolate, conflict rate, and watch the immolate duration be consumed here. So I bolt down to like 16, there it goes, bolt again, you go to like eight, whatever. Uh, so you can bolt here and refresh immolate during your travel time right there, and it will then consume. Now, it depends on the range you are from the actual target, right? If I'm, like, standing, you know, like, right here, for example, and let's say I try to do that that trick again, like, bolt, refresh, it doesn't work. I'm too close, right? But if I'm way back here, like, max range, like, 20 plus yards, give or take, I'll cast a few bolts here. Um, there is enough leeway to cast a bolt and, like, refresh while it's traveling to the mob. So, for example, it's low, cast bolt, refresh, bang, it hits, there's the consumption. Um, it makes the play style a bit interesting because you're like refreshing emulates every few seconds. Like, for example, let's open up here, right? I've got an emulate up, cast a chaos bolt, a conflict rate. It's max pandemic here. It's whatever. Cast some bolts, conflict rate, bolt again, cast an incinerate. I'm going to bolt again, uh, emulate, refresh. It'll chomp there, bolt again, cast this, uh, bolt again. I'll conflict rate. I'll just honestly refresh here. Uh, we're in pandemic basically there. So you had this weird cycle of having to refresh emulate a good bit. Uh, it is broken down separately and on like in meters here. There is some total combustion being 6%, 6.6 uh, to hit for 180k uh, during its max um, crit window or whatever. And there's both something else, right? So the play is a bit awkward. Uh, we played with it last in BFA really when you had expedient and things um, with like having crazy amounts of haste. It became very good, unsurprisingly. Uh, but with it being with it, it is now um, if it's a minor DPS gain, 
I probably won't bother, but we'll see where it goes and see if it gains even more ground. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. That wraps it up. Hopefully uh, you guys are excited about S4, uh, like I am and all that. And uh, any questions you might have had, we're hopefully answered today. Like I said, the Sims will be changing a good bit. There's likely different tr uh, trinket combinations out there. Class trinket's a little iffy, but we'll see where it goes. Hoping for class tuning or some changes coming in later builds. Uh, we did not test Faded Rage last time for Faded in Shadowlands, so I doubt it's happening this time or either, but uh, we'll see. Blizz did mention there were some, some some surprises in S4, which I don't think we got any today. Um, so, you know, we will uh, see where it goes. But yeah, while that being said, uh, if you guys like any weak horrors, add on some on the video. Uh, links to Twitch and Discord down below. I'd love for free for you guys. At the same time, like always, every video, a huge shout out to my patrons before we end it. Thank you for all support on Patreon, guys, uh, a million times. I really appreciate it. If you're looking at supporting on Patreon, should be a link up here as well as down below in the video description. Uh, now, once more sims are run and builds are, uh, I guess, figured out and all that, we will indeed be updating it here on the channel, obviously, for S4, uh, raid stuff, dungeon stuff, all that stuff in between. At the same time, Blizz has mentioned that Alpha for Woolworth End is coming out before S4 hits retail. And not PTR, but retail. So I'm, I would venture to guess Season 4 is hitting retail like live servers and probably a month, like five weeks, whenever Plunderstorm ends. So we're probably getting Alpha within the next few weeks. So... Covering both of that, uh, it's gonna be a lot of work. Uh, hopefully, we're in alpha the first wave to be sick, but uh, I'm excited. Hopefully, you guys are too. So, all that being said, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all again soon on stream. Peace.